Admit it. All I told you is that my old landlady found my OkCupid profile and said it was really stupid. And then you had sex with her. Well, was it? Yeah, it was really stupid. So it's constructive criticism. So, uh, I would say the big, the biggest thing that happened this week in the gaming industry is Ooh yeah. Ooh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh yeah. Um, this is obviously the Android gaming console that was put up on Kickstarter on Monday. Oh so yeah. So many Kickstarters. And in, I think, two days, it was 250% funded. They 350%. Were asking, 350. Yeah. They were asking for uh, just under a million dollars. And uh, I think on Wednesday they were up to 3.6 million. Oh yeah. Million. yeah. Oh yeah. It's never gonna get old, is it? Oh no. yeah. Just we should just muzzle. It's the first. Now. It's the first. Uh, the first console made by a bowl of fruit punch that burst through the wall. Oh god. Um, okay. Yeah. What are our thoughts on this? Because I've got both negative and positive. Did either of you guys back it? I did not back it. Or not yet. It still has like 25 days left, right? Not yet. But I also like I'm so wary about it that I don't think I will. Mm. Which is yeah, not to say I don't, I don't want it to succeed. I, I just like, I'm skeptical it. right now. Yeah. And it, it's the same deal with almost every Kickstarter that I see where I'm just like, you have a video and a concept and that's it. I think people are starting to get entertained by Kickstarters as a thing. You know, it's less the actual, it's like a, it's like looking at Sky Mall. You know, it's a catalog full of things that you don't really see yourself actually wanting to purchase. Yeah. Except you're for like, that Garden Yeti. Yeah, we do want the Garden Yeti. But I mean, it's like, whoa, this thing is so crazy. It's like shoots lasers at your scalp and it makes yeah. your hair grow back and it's only $700. I think <laughs> I'm gonna consider buying it. Yeah. Except with Kickstarter, you can actually fund these things. And this is a, this is a $100 console that runs Android and has a controller with joysticks on it and buttons. Yeah. Dude, the controller looks awesome. It's open source and it's hackable and yeah. it's just like, it does all this stuff. But it runs Android games it at the end of the day. Android 4.0, yeah. Well, I... <laughs> yeah, I mean, when it comes down to it, that's the most important part, you know? And, and really all we know is, all we know is, is based on the Kickstarter profile, a couple of interviews that the creators have done, and the video that they put up. And, you know, clearly there's a really smart team behind it, right? Obviously, oh, sure. there's a lot of people that are attracted to this idea, if however many people have, you know, said yes. 25,000, 25, at least. 25,000, at least. Um, and you know, the, the guy who designed the jam box, uh, he's Behar, I believe, who's a yeah. designer who works at uh, Fuse Project, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, he's doing the controller and I have to assume the actual hardware of the device. Um, so there are some really smart people behind it and it's easy to see why someone would try this, right? I mean, like, it's almost every day that you read an editorial that some game developer is saying that consoles are dying and mobile is the future. And this seems to be some sort of like, Okay, yes, like that's the direction that we're heading in, but I still have a TV and I, I got to play games on it. I got a thing. So, mobile gaming, connected to your TV. Explain the part of that sentence that doesn't make any goddamn sense. Okay, there are parts that make sense and parts that don't. The parts that do are the fact that mobile games are usually $1 to $2, and to be able to play that on your TV would be a nice thing. The bad part is that you buy a console for $99 and you're using it to play $1 games. Like, how well, do you reconcile well, that? Because, because when I think like the whole, the whole purpose of that case, like if you watch that Kickstarter video, that, that sh the main woman in it says the word television like 15 times. It's all about like bringing mobile games to television. Mobile how games drunk are where, was she? Mobile games are where gaming is going, but we want to bring it back to the TV to get yeah. back to the, our roots, except okay. it's not our roots because it's mobile games well, and it's way different. Mobile gaming isn't where gaming is going. It's where gaming just happened to wind up. You know, like it's not, obviously there's mm -hmm. still consoles still going strong. PC is going very strong. Uh, the thing is people play mobile games not because they're like, oh shit, it's the, you know, the Galaxy Nexus, Samsung yeah. S, whatever, L2, or they don't buy that for the sake of playing Angry Birds on it. They buy it because they need a friggin' phone. Yeah. And if it can run games, that's awesome. That's great. And yeah. they're stoked on it. And if those games cost $2, 
all the more reason to buy them, you know? Yeah. It's it's funny because it's almost like we've gone back 20 years and now people are are all excited about buying this console that can run games that are probably on par with Super Mario when it first released. Oh like, dear God, yeah. Exactly. Well, I mean, there like, are it's some like a circle. Games, you know, like no, there's, sure. There's uh, like Dead Space is on there. And yeah. Oh like, yeah. No, it's no. A third person shooter. They have some great Android games. There's yeah. um. Max, I there's, know you're there's, being facetious. There's um. There's NES emulator. <laughs> there's Super NES emulator. Oh, I love Genesis ROM. That's Genesis one of my ROMs. favorites. Oh my God, totally. Genesis ROMs was the best game totally. series ever. Um, Listen, but no, but like all, are... all the best games on Android, like I don't mean best, best. I just mean like the most graphically superior and like technologically advanced are all just ports of console games. Well, Dead Space isn't a port. That's like imagine if somebody refused to buy Dead Space on console, but was like, yeah, I'm gonna get this Ouya and then play Dead Space on Android on my console. Although. If it was priced reasonably at like ten bucks, exactly. That's the, that's, that's the thing, though. EA, like all the publishers, set their own prices because it's not really free to play; it's free to try. All the publishers will set their prices, and they'll make it the same price as the console game. I don't think they will. I don't think they will because you don't think so? the whole idea it being it running Android means that you know conceptually, I have I have a code base that you know runs on a couple Android devices. What I need to do to make this run on the Ouya you know, supposedly I'm not an Android developer, is you need to make it be able to scale up to the resolutions that the OUYA supports. Oh, yeah. You need to make it support the gamepad that plugs into the OUYA. Oh god, a and whole, a whole... That's it, that's it though. That is it compared to porting it to the Wii U, compared to porting it, you know, uh, uh, PC or something. Okay, okay look, oh, at this. look at this. I already feel stupid because I bought a PlayStation Vita and there's like six games for that total. Um, I mean, obviously, it's got some ways to go. It's it's a very powerful little machine. That is that is a thing that is designed for mobile gaming, and everyone's like, "But I already have an iPhone." You know, that's a thing that's there. Um, that's Sony. They're like a they they already have really good relationships with you know all the all the games makers people, yeah. and they're having trouble getting stuff on there. Right. You know, they've got downloadable stuff is readily available. Um, I've talked to like indie devs, and I'm like, "Dude, throw that shit on the Vita." You know, it's it'll you know it might. It's the only game in town, you know. Right. Like anything that goes on there, people are going to buy out of curiosity, if nothing else. Um, this is this is doing that, but it's doing it with like, with with Android. Yeah. You know? If people are going to well, play Android games, they're going to play them on their phones. Just last week, um, Randy Pitchford said that he would love to have Borderlands 2 on the Vita, and he was like, "Yeah, I'd love to have it on Vita." Why don't you tell Sony to put it on Vita? Which I think kind of comes to the core question of the Ouya, and that wasn't addressed in the Kickstarter video. Um, is that Clearly there's going to need to be some work put in to make these games work well on the Ouya. And you know, they're getting a lot more money than they thought they were, so maybe they're going to be able to support a small in-house team that will work on porting some of these bigger games to the Ouya. Because asking developers to do it themselves, like, they, like Sony has to do for the Vita, okay. clearly is a tough bet. It reminds me of like you know the old old computer slash consoles back when there wasn't really a whole lot of you know differentiation there like you know Commodore 64 or uh, you know like the ZX Spectrum or something where it's like people there were games for it you know yeah. but the real thing was homebrew stuff like stuff that people made and that they shared except those were like I mean you could use those machines to make games for it you need to be a hacker to begin with and you need to be making games on a computer for it to work. You know, it's, right. it's a dev kit. It's not a yeah. computer for making games. Yeah, I think a point where it could become very interesting is there's a ton of great apps on Android that would make complete sense on a home console. You know, you think about Netflix, you think about Hulu, you think about MLB TV for me. Let's be now. realistic here. That's not a thing that's If you real. own like any machine and it's in your living room, it right. probably runs Netflix. Exactly, but there's a lot of people who don't own one of those machines. And if you're looking to buy a machine, this is a hundred dollar device that I could play Netflix on, that I could play my Amazon video on, and you know, I can get some games on the side. Yeah, too. that's true. You could spend a hundred bucks on an Apple TV or you could just buy an Ouya. Yeah, but the major issue is that this platform is not as secure. Mm -hmm. And I don't see it getting a legitimate port of you know the Netflix app. So I also see piracy being a pretty big issue. Exactly, and that's gonna scare away a lot of those big money publishers. Mm -hmm. Goddamn pirates. Well, I'm, I'm really excited to start up my Kickstarter that I'm gonna be putting up for snake oil, which is oil made from snakes that you mm -hmm. rub on your legs and it makes you run faster. It works, well, I'll be selling serious? it. 
for $4 a tube once it goes to market. But until then, I need Kickstarter. How much sold? How much do you need? $500,000. Sold. Let me ask you this, Max. Maybe. I have to kill a lot of snakes. Let's pretend I'm willing to put up $500,000. As the sole backer, what are my rewards? I'm also making another product called Ponzi Cream, <laughs> which I will be, I have to go get it. It's, it's in Switzerland. But I should give you the money now. Yes, you should probably wire it to my offshore account. Done. Just for safekeeping. Done. I'm gonna run so fast, Tara. I believe it. All the girls He's are gonna love so me. I believe it, Zach. The girls are gonna love me. He's not gonna run fast, no. 